afternoon all. My name is Adiola Oyigosola Onosoya. Um, we're doing the celebration of life for my mother, Alaja Sharifat Olaide Fashola Adeladu. Um, I'm going to miss my mom so much. She was the pillar of our family. She was a loving, caring, loving mother. She made sure she supported us to be, to be who we are today. And for that, we will forever be grateful. I'm going to miss her motherly advice. I'm going to co miss coming to Nigeria and going straight to her house to see her. Um, she's, she's going to be a big gap. But uh, I'm blessed with the memories we've shared. I'm blessed with um, the support she has given us. And um, I pray that God will continue to grant her uh, eternal rest because uh, she does deserve to go and rest. Um, I thank all our guests that have come here to honor her and us. And I pray that um, God will see them back home safely. For all my friends and family that have traveled from the US, the UK, to celebrate with us, um, I say thank you. I appreciate you all and all the families in Nigeria and friends that have uh, been here to support us. I say a big thank you. God bless you all. and. Uh, I pray everybody enjoy their day today. Thank you. For our mother, Alaja Sherifat Olaide, Faramo Biade Labu, Nefashola. Thank you. We really appreciate you. We thank everybody for coming, for the support, and I hope that you enjoy the day. It is not a day to mourn, but it is a day to celebrate the goodness that she had achieved in her lifetime. It is a day to be joyous with us because our mother did not bury any one of us. But we buried her in good faith. She lived well. So thank you and welcome. Thank you. Eshe Ekabo. Oh, <laughs> 
Thank you very much, Rafa and Sheikh. I do a round to the Adelabu family. So, why do you.
gentlemen, we are going to skip the Oriki for now on LED screen. Pre recorded species on LED screen. What is it?
and then people were throwing stones against the glass window saying there's a fire. But oh, thank God. And she has saved that was when I was there to save her. There's been time when she was there to save me. I can count many things that she made me advise me to do that I ended up in my death. Right? But one thing I can say about Elijah, if Elijah is on your side, you can have confidence. Elijah is a warrior. My mother was a warrior. She's one of those people you call a warrior lady. Yeah? Alaita is the kind of woman you will call Obiribi Okunimeta. I'm telling you. Yeah? She was a serious, strong woman. And even with the challenges that she had, she fought it for a lot longer. I know younger people that were fit, healthy, didn't drink, go to gym, went to hospital for one minor thing. Before we know it, they, they, they were gone. This is, this is a real story that people here know about. A man that is in his mid 50s, healthy, doesn't drink, healthy, goes to all the uh, gym every day, uh, doesn't drink, doesn't do, she know, whatever you want to call it. Small thing went to by just like that. So I give thanks to God because I know she lived a good life. She went to many countries, she did all the wonderful things, and she raised her kids as best as she could. So none of us are perfect, but today is about virtues. So I'm talking about her virtues. But she's the builder woman, she's a strong woman. When she's with you, some people here will tell you she'll follow you to the governor, she'll follow you to the commissioner. And you will most likely get what you want because she had a way of communicating with authority and power where she knew how to appeal to them and invariably you will get what you want. So from that aspect, for me, I salute her, may her soul rest in peace and the happiness would you like to say to you? To have a wonderful mother-in-law, very loving, caring, thoughtful. Even though we're based in the UK, she always took the time to look out for her grandchildren, always calling, doing video calls, and making sure they were well looked after. After she was a wonderful woman, and I loved her dearly. And I know she was looking down on all her children, feeling immensely proud. May her soul rest in perfect peace. Thank you can't give you what your father gave us and we had to go to our mom so she took us as rotten as we were and she made us who we are today she 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 took us through thick and thin um, you can imagine a child that didn't know or a youngster that didn't know how to sweep or cook or clean she had to teach us she taught us to become a woman, a mother, a carer, a giver. Everything you see today is because our mom stood by us. She wasn't perfect, like my brother said, but she gave us love. She gave us everything. If you tell my mom to jump, she will not ask you how high. When I was told I was pregnant with twins, I nearly collapsed because I'm the laziest one of them all. I love my books, but housework, forget it. Um, my mom told me, I was crying, and I called her, I said, I even called her before I called my husband, I said, Mom, they said it's tweets, I'm dead. You know, my career, what do I do? And she told me, are oh, you come? Mom, worry. People used to think my mom used to come to the UK for shopping or enjoyment but well, most of the time she was in my house she raised my twins i never bathed them until they were one years old i would just express milk and she would feed them they slept on the same bed she didn't allow them in their cots i went back to work when my twins were six six months old and i had a toddler my mom cook, she will clean, she will go to dusty market, she will buy all kinds of, she looked after us, she, will, she supported me, and you know, um, people underestimated her wisdom and her knowledge, my mom was a very wise woman, and I think that's what my dad saw in her as well. 
and people wondered why did my dad leave my mom on his will as an executor. My mom is a very well, she was a very wise woman. She will tell you the truth, you like it or not, she will say. And we are very grateful to God that um, she lived a good life and we also looked after her, after her the best way we could. We made sure she never lacked for anything. When I'm coming to Nigeria, my suitcase is for my mom. I might just come and sew Ankara. If people see me in Nigeria, I will mostly wear Ankara because I don't bring clothes. I, I, my suit, now I'm coming to Nigeria this month. I'm thinking my suitcase is empty. What am I going to do? You know, I'm going to miss her greatly. She was a lovely woman. And I bless God and I thank God that she's gone to rest. She wanted to go. Even though I said, Mom, you can't leave me. I said, Baby, I'm tired. I just had to let her go. And God took her at the right time. When he was ready for her, I thank God. And I thank you all. I shake on you. Hey, Carol. Hey, Carson. Uh, because some people are on Zoom and uh, internet, don't go to like, America to UK. To really much you have a car or a car, depending on what time zone you are. And um, your woman from way back 1996, so about 27 years. So, and within a month of meeting her, uh, I got to speak to her mom on the phone. Uh, within that one month, I traveled to the US and I would call from Atlanta. His mom and I would speak to tell her, Deep on Osoya, from Maryland, Deep on Osoya, from California, Deep on Osoya. So I'm sure she's thinking, Who is this guy that my daughter has uh, got as a boyfriend back then? So when I met her for the first time, um, you can imagine a young man like me meeting my girlfriend's mom. So they were having sweet corn. Abado nile. So one wants to be ah, she might hear abado. We need bed. So one for me abado thought he said. But you want abado at all? And we call me be kiwa lo show me in the kitchen. Alaja ni ni bo. Let me show you how to show you. Eh? Wow. This is a traditional woman. This is the kind of mother in law that would be good for me. She put this lady in check. <laughs> and to be honest, from that day on, we became best of friends. We will have a conversation. She will say, Ah, would they have broken in your gate? Mercedes go. Ah, mommy, mommy, you're going to Germany. Mama, you know. I went to Germany. I helped her to get an E class 300 back then. I think the color was brown. And after she used it for a few years, one or two things happened to the car. She wanted another one. I went to Germany again to get her another one. She loves her Mercedes, you know. And by the time, you know, she got into sort of a couple of years later, my mother-in-law, Alaja, Sherry Fat, Olaide Fire will be cruising around in Lagos and in the COK convertible. And I'm like, ah, Alaja, I'm a Juba for mama. You know, I used to kind of. Uh, you know, joke with her, and then sometimes we go to parties together. I remember we went to Alaji Doshu's um, daughter's um, wedding. Sonia did play at that party in Likeja. And Alaja, when she goes out to parties, she does not go alone. One day they come. Tebana like that about party by your big male woman tell you one. Ah, he will book out. And what she didn't believe on Beto, I thought you were. Alaji Diva is one of them. You know, she. Has this aura? One new kiki. See a lot about war. Oh, to Abu, Abu, you might change it. It's just she does have that great personality. And it mean no. Why do you continue me not like one or two things? Can what time can she fight it? So it's about war show. Why and can they not see party? One man serving in the poor nice, you know. Where I'm going to go to war in Kony. Tomorrow I'm going to in nice. So. She's the kind of person that encourages success. Women encourage one more rather than one of them. Oh, she said, only nice car, nice house. She loves it. 
and when she lived with us, we don't know that I'm there on like we continue you call up. She is always there for us. I want to talk to Omo, talk to Ile, and answer will be Koba Mama Yawobe for six months. Okuri mi ole she one month, but comfortably, man she six months one year without a job because oh she know Allah. I'm a sorrow. I'm a rain. I'm a jaggy. So she makes me feel comfortable to the point that I mean, I like my song come up for me. Oh, you can't see it because I'm not sorrow like that, you know. So, but me man tell us. <laughs> so, one thing I will say is that Okotoli Emu, Aji Roba of Lagos, who I did not get to meet, to marry this beautiful young lady that gave her five kids. There is something special about her. And and I believe for me, Moti believe for no, Moti believe for one people who are bad. We eche Moti be, so eche go Moti be o, o twenty no zero o, amari kori para wan shi o, eche go. Thank you. Ti a kole ko fora. A woman of endless strength, boundless love, and relentless optimism. Let me take you on a journey into a life. A life that has been filled with heartwarming moments and valuable lessons. A life of which I am privileged to be part. It is a tale of a humble woman, a woman who has shaped and continued to shape many lives, including mine, Oyin Kansola, Afolabi, Abiola, and Ajibola, including our, our children, and of course, our great-grandchildren. She was fulfilled before she passed. She was happy that she was able to see her great-grandchildren. And I am pleased to, because I'm a grandmother. My mother was always the first person up in the morning, while the rest of the world was still stopped away in dreams. I remember one winter morning in particular, when the ash cold hair penetrated our small home, chilling everything inside. I woke up to an aroma of fresh ekori rope and fish stew. Despite the frosty winter morning, there she was in the kitchen, her hands skillfully making a bath to go with it. And I remember when my daughter Adedoi, that's the first grandchild, was about five years old and, and mommy was around with us in the UK. And obviously mommy must, has made a bath. Maybe the previous day she had had a bath. The, the same day she's having a bath again. And I remember Adedoi saying to grandma, Grandma, why are you eating a bath in the morning, a bath in the afternoon, a bath in the evening? I can confidently say the same thing has happened because um, two Christmas ago, Adedoyin bought a child, an older child, to Nigeria to visit grandma, or great grandma, rather. And Tammy, when Tammy came back to the UK, she goes, Grandma, grandma fed, great grandma fed me every day. I said, Well, welcome to the world. 
you know, at least you have an opportunity to ex to have experience of having Eba in the morning, Eba in the afternoon, and Eba in the evening. She knew the wants of a hearty breakfast and would not only fill our stomach, but also warm our hearts. Her love for us manifested in the smallest gestures, from cooking our favorite meals to ensuring we always had a comforting and loving home. Mom has always had this uncanny ability to make everyone feel welcomed and loved. When we were younger and living in the UK by ourselves, Mommy would make effort to visit us at least three times a year. Making sure that she brings all the ready-made ashoibi, so it doesn't matter if there is a party that has happened in the Barua family, I have the ashoibi. If it's something from the Fashola family, I have the ashoibi. Even if it's 10 years, 20 years ago, she will make for every one of us. She would even put them in, you know, the, we call it, I, I, unfortunately, I have a friend here that I ride from the UK to Ghana this, this morning. So I can't say the word, you know, the bag, the bag, that big bag. I didn't say that because she's here. <laughs> she, will pick the, she will put those material ready made. She doesn't mind whatever, she will make it into different styles and she will bring it over to the UK for us. Every time she's coming, she will come with different types of ashwebi. You know, and then the, the other thing she does, she brings Mr. Biggs for us. It can take months before we finish it because she would have bought it in surplus. Yes? Yeah. So, including meat pie, sausage roll, and what else? The donuts. So when, every time we come to Nigeria, we, we haven't seen the Mr. Biggs that she is by before. We haven't had a taste of it. Maybe Mr. Biggs is gone, I don't know. She was a brother. She was a fighter. And I tell you what, when you have a larger in your corner, when you have a review, honestly, the sky is the starting point. She's someone that we're all going to miss. The children are missing her already. They always say, oh, grandma this, grandma that. And I, can I tell you one thing? There was something that happened last night while we were doing the preparation and everything. And um, she usually, she does one thing when I'm around. Whenever she's doing this, if I can use, use um, Ojumleya or something, and she's killing the cow, she will say to me, Shelby, we are the other one. So we go together. She will say to me, point to the one you want. I like a cow with a hunchback. He came. I love, I love a cow with a hunchback. And she will say to me, oh, he came here and told me that, that. Take that one. That one is the cow. I will get the cow. And I'll tell you one thing. When they kill the cow, the first thing she's going to say to whoever kills the cow is, can you cut the hunch back? Because she will get the hunch back and she will take that separate. And she will say, we're taking this upstairs. When we get upstairs, she will cook that specially for me. But she knows I love it. That is how far she will go to make you feel welcome. Make you feel free right now. We are missing her already. We are always going to miss her. It's something we have to live with, whether we like it or not. But I can tell you one thing she's in a better place. Elijah, we love you. We love you. I said, I love you. I said, I love you.
ina re ayatola di fu ko mo tonu so ya o ma gbo un so ke ma kori Hello, hello, hello. I better be your room. Hey, my bow and tie together. Oh, my God. 